Hey, Viola Rolls here, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All. So we're talking to Maya. We went to visit her at her village that she lives in, uh, where she's training to be a spirit medium. It's a whole village of spirit mediums, by the way. But let's go ahead and talk to her. Looks like you finally become a full-fledged medium, taking on your first job. Oh, cool. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? <laughs> Behold the power of Maya Intelligence Network. Let's see, 14 people died because of malpractice on Mr. Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse, he killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. Huh? Um, so what is this Maya Intelligence Network anyway? The tabloids. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazed killer as a client. That's too scary, even for me. Y yeah I guess so. Hmm. I wonder if he wants Maya to get it wrong so that he can somehow pin the crime on her, or make it her fault in some way. Tell me about your village. So this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep. Karayan Village, but I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Interesting. So everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much. Most of my ancestors were too, I think. That's probably true, since the Fey ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. So what do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. Okay, so it's only the women that are mediums. Interesting. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly? Pearly? Pearly Faye. She's my cousin. Oh, okay. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. Cousin? Wait, then that means... Is she also a... Yep, she's a medium too. Pearly's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Wow, and at such a young age. Hmm, I see. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled it into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. Suspicious looking? Well, you're not wearing training clothes, for starters. Of course not. Pearly is my aunt's most valued treasure, so she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Karayan Village. Aunt? Pearlie's mother is my aunt, duh. Come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I've got to get going. It's about time for the channeling to start. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. Alright, good luck, Maya. Thanks. Well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. Yeah, that's good. So let's go ahead and move into her house, or the meditation room, I guess, to be more specific. Oh, uh, Mr. Wright, I'm so glad you showed. Hello, Gray. So nice weather we're having today. Aren't you happy? No, not at all. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. <sighs> it will rain cats and dogs today, she said with a straight face. I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public airwaves. Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. But anyway, this is a splendid manner. No argument there. It's hard to believe that this is Maya's house. I know, it's so nice. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright, I have a copy for you too. Hmm, okay, so it'll be useful for some reason. Okay. Let's talk to Gray, I guess. What are you going to do once the nurse's spirit has been called? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. A signed confession? Can they do that? Yes, a confession. Pay attention. I'll have her write this. One year ago, on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. Uh, what? 
I'm sorry and I apologize for being negligent. That's what I'll have her write. With a confession, the rain falling on my soul can finally stop. Uh oh, I see. Okay, then, I guess. So, how did you hear about Maya Fay? I heard about her from an acquaintance, a girl studying the occult at the college. That girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Karain School of Channeling. The home, huh? And Miss Maya is a daughter of the Master, I hear. I mean, yes. Master? Anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Miss Maya's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Uh, yeah. I would love to. So let's go ahead and move into, um, the channeling chamber, I guess. There were two places there that I hadn't been, but yeah, Winding Way didn't sound right. Hmm, a lot of candles in here. Wow, it's such a strange atmosphere in here. These flickering lights. I guess they're candles. What do you mean you guess? Can you not see? Good sir, who might you be? Uh, uh, I'm, uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good sir. Good sir? Is she talking about me? You are a lawyer, are you not, good sir? I have heard much about you from the mystic from Mystic Maya. Oh, that's her new title. Is that so, Mystic Maya? I am Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. Morgan, nice to meet you. Uh, I wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you asked too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. No, I'm not the one asking. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. That was it not for Mystic Maya and her assistants, you would surely, you surely, you would surely not have won. First a girl that runs away, and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job. And to be fair, you usually win by um, luck, it seems. When did I become the poster boy for how not to make a first impression? The past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Ah, thank you. Hmm, okay, let's talk to you for a little bit. So, why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir! Yes? How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya? Uh, I'm sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. We must call her Mystic Maya. Um, uh, so about Mystic Maya, um... It is the blood. Excuse me? Blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the Master, in actuality. She's the only one remaining. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the Karayan channeling technique. Okay, then where do you stand? That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fae family, I am merely a member of the Branch family. Branch family? What's that? Is as it sounds, for a member of the Branch family, no matter her spiritual power, she can never become the master of the Karayan school. So, how strong are you? It is a shame, however, I will admit. I cannot even begin to compare the lowliness of my power to the masters. So that's how it is. Hmm, tell me about today's channeling. So, um... <clears throat> So, today's channeling will be her first? Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident is usually very strong, it is usually easier to call that person to our world. Traffic accident, indeed. The channeling will take place here in this channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing. So, tell me about this chamber. So, this room is the channeling chamber? The place where a spirit medium speaks with those who have departed. I don't suppose you'd mind if we observed the session? Do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Oh. The secrets of the Karayan techniques cannot be seen by just anybody. That never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. 
It is also for your safety concern if something were to go wrong. That is why, while channeling is performed, that heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's what the lock is for. Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She is an adorable, angelic young girl. Yeah, the one we saw earlier. Oh, that odd... <clears throat> she is my daughter. Now then, what was it you were about to say? What a cute daughter you have. <laughs> a cure heart that knows not the evils in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. Well, it's not like I had the chance to anyway. I must insist and stress that you not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it. Okay. So, we met Maya's aunt here, and, um... Hmm. I don't think I can present anything, but actually I want to look at the court record before I stop. Uh, can I check this? Yeah. Okay. So you have the meditation room, the channeling chamber, winding way into a side room. And this is only a partial map, too, so there's probably more rooms than this. But they probably keep their best maps concealed for, um, because they don't want guests to know the whole entire layout of the building. But yeah, we're going to stop here, and we'll continue in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time.